look at the definition of put here so basically we say a set is a collection of objects or symbols okay so it can be numbers letters items things okay for as long as they are put together uh, or they are grouped you score that as a set so these objects the objects or symbols are called elements so that's how it is with a set the objects which are found in a set or the symbols are called elements so now let's try to talk a little bit about uh, some set operations so when we say set operation there are quite a number of them but we will talk about uh, uh, these three there is what we call intersection union and complement so let's say we're talking about intersection Intersection, we know that it's denoted by letter, uh, sorry, not a letter, this symbol, which looks like a letter N. So this is the intersection. So if you have set A and B, and then they say A intersect B, you need to write A and the symbol here intersect B. This is how it looks. Union. Union. Almost the same, not really, not, let's not say almost, it looks like this symbol, but it's upside down. So it's like this. This is union. So when you want to write A, union B, this is how you write over here. Complement. This complement. Whatever you're talking about, let's say you're talking about A complement A, complement looks like this. Meaning, what is not in A, what is outside A. For intersection, meaning what is common in A and B, what is found in A and B. Union, meaning everything that is in A and in B, not repeated. What do I mean by saying not repeated? If, for example, you have one in A and one in B, you cannot write uh, two of them. Just get one of them. That's all. All right. Let's try to dig uh, into details about these three things. So we start with the intersection. Let's look at this. Over here, we're talking about intersection. So you see... The way these two sets look, there is A and there's B here. And which part is shaded here? The center. Not really the center. The uh, I meant the center, talking about the old figure, the way it looks. But there is a part of B which is shaded and a part of A which is shaded. And this is this region over here. Let's say you have a, a, set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And set B is equal to negative 1, 0, 3, 8. And they say find A intersect B or list A intersect B how do you do that how do you do that you check in A what is it that is found in A and is also found in A in B if you see nicely one no two no three yes right three what else that's all so this is the a intersect B. This is a solution over here. Okay. Let's try to get this. These, we put them in these 
uh, it's not a Venn diagram. I'll just say it sets this and this. We know A is here, so one can be here, two here, three here. No, three must be here because it's common, so must be here. This is where three must be. Four here. We go to B, negative one over here, zero here. 3, it's already here. Don't write it. It's already here. 8, here. This is how you write the intersection. Let's try to do some union stuff here. Okay, before we do uh, some union, we try to, to look at the intersection. Same thing, intersection, but now involving three sets. There is set A, B, and C. So, uh, for you to shade here, the intersection, you shade the most center part of the entire figure here. And it's over here. Okay? So, let's say A is, is equal to uh, 7, 8, 9. That's our A. And B is equal to 6, 8, 10. C is equal to 1, 2, 8, 14, 15, over here. And they want you to find A intersect B intersect C. Because this is it. what is here, the shaded region. So what is A intersect B intersect C? You check. What is it that is common? It's found in A, B, and C. Of course, 8. 8 is found everywhere. So this is the answer. So now, on this same one, you can now list them. You can put in your, on these uh, sets, you can put. So here we have 7, 8. No, it's found here because it's found everywhere. So put 8 here. 9 is over here. We're done with A. Set B, we have 6 over here. 8 is already here. And 10 is here. We go to C, we have 1, 2, 8 is already here. Uh, what else? 15, 14 and 15 here. So this is how it's supposed to be. Good. Let's now try to do some union. Like I said earlier on, so for union, remember union, we said it's everything. You get everything, okay? So let's say you have A is equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4. B is equal to negative 1, comma 0, comma 3, comma 8. So for you to write A union b is equal to negative one you start with the least the smallest negative one from negative one you go to zero zero you go to one okay one you go to two two you go to three three you go to four four you go to eight in short you get all these numbers uh you start with the list okay this three is found here and it's found here. You, all, you, you only write it once, like I've done here. I've written it once, this three. If you write, you repeat three, again, you come and write three. That would be wrong. You only need to write it once. Good. Let's try with three. With three circles. That's why if you're able to see nicely, it's shaded like everything. You shade all the mentioned uh, sets. So even here, the same thing. You shade all the mentioned sets. That's how it is. Let's try to look at complement. Over here, this is complement. If you're able to see nicely, you see, they have done it. So actually here, it is supposed to show a sign. So you say A complement. 
So a complement meaning you don't get what is in A, get what is what is outside A. Let's say A has got T. Let's first forget here. We write something here. A has got maybe one, two. This is A. And then E, the universal E has got T. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay? We know that one is inside here. Two is also here. Three is outside. Four, outside. So now, how do you write a complement? A complement will just be three, comma, four. What is not in A is what we call A complement there, or is what we're supposed to list. Thank you very much for watching my video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and be able to follow all my works. Our next video will be called Lesson 2, where we talk about the types of sets and try to answer a little bit of some exam questions. So make sure you watch all the videos that I post Set the notification bell, okay, so that you don't miss out. Thank you. Bye-bye.